Hey, I'm Lucas, and welcome to Tick Tick Tier Stick, where I'll answer one of your Tick Tick questions in a video or share a helpful trick that I found myself. For this week's video, Andy wants to know how to use Tick Tick priorities. With Tick Tick, you can set four priority levels for a task red, also known as high, yellow or medium, blue or low, or gray, which Tick Tick equals to having no priority. By default, Unless configured differently in the settings, the priority for new tasks always equals none, the lowest level. Right-clicking a task allows you to assign a priority level to it. Alternatively, you can navigate to the top right of the detail pane to arrive at the same menu. If these videos aren't enough for you, you want to get more free Tick Tick tips, hacks, and tricks, you can subscribe to my free Tick Tick Tuesday email course. The link's going to be in the description you'll get one tick tick tip delivered to your inbox every Tuesday. I personally use the priority feature sparingly. It's not something I rigidly apply to all my tasks in tick tick. Example use cases where I do find it helpful includes prioritizing tasks in my today list to make sure the most important things get done first. I don't treat my to-do list as gospel and some tasks further down below on the list might even be okay to be skipped. Another use case I have for the priority list is for my list of books that I want to read. Currently, I have about 50 of them. Once I finish one, I just go to my list to see what book I want to read next based on what I've classified as important to me. And you can take this approach more broadly and apply it to your entire Not Now list or any area in your Tic Tic system where you've added items that aren't actionable right now, but that are always up for consideration. If you want to learn how to build an entire productivity system inside of Tic Tic, consider enrolling in my Tic Tic Power User course. It outlines my entire system from A to Z, a system that's helped hundreds of others who've gone before you and have left raving reviews. It's working pretty well for a lot of people. It's not a course where you're forced to copy my entire system literally one-to-one. -one. Instead, it should serve to inspire you and hopefully save you some time as well. You may not even need to follow me on YouTube anymore after completing the course. And that's my goal. I want to help you get to a state of peak productivity as soon as possible. If that's through these YouTube videos, that's totally fine. If it's through email, that's great. But if you are willing to invest a little, you may just see returns on your investment a lot more quickly. So check out the course link in the description to see if it's a good fit for you. You can sort based on priority and multiple views. Let's take a look at a list with multiple sections to illustrate. First, you can select group by priority, which in turn shuffles the view of the entire list by creating pseudo sections based on priority. Going back to group by and selecting custom, resets this view. Selecting sort by instead reshuffles tasks whilst retaining their original sections, going from high to low in descending order. If you're using TickTick -Tick Premium, you can access its Eisenhower Matrix feature, which is a different dimension through which you can view the same tasks. Traditionally, the red quadrant is interpreted as urgent and important, yellow as not urgent and important, blue as urgent and not important, and green as not urgent and unimportant. Interestingly, you can freely reinterpret what each quadrant means by using the available filters that you can view by pressing the menu in the top right and selecting Edit. In there, you can filter tasks based on list membership, their associated dates, and weirdly, their priority. This means that effectively, you can create your own prioritization matrix. Lastly, speaking of filters, TickTick's filter functionality, of course, also allows you to create custom task views that includes priority level as a variable. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any more questions about this particular topic, leave it in the comments, as well as any other questions you may have about TickTick in general. You may just see yourself getting features with your question in a future video. Thanks for watching and see you next Tuesday.